Beaucoup d'entre vous ont vu sur les réseaux sociaux ce couple qui s'est fait agresser par une femme dans un restaurant aux états unis On a des nouvelles de cette altercation. Écoutez bien. That's right, Jim and Marie, and he says all of this happened inside the Downers Grove Panera that's behind me right now over a sweatshirt he was wearing that said Palestine on it. Wasim Zoran told me he hopes the hate crime charges just filed send a much bigger message. <laughs> This is how the cell phone video of the incident starts. It doesn't capture the entire thing, since Wasim Zaran says his pregnant wife started recording in an effort to protect him, since he was trying to shield her from the woman now charged in the incident you're watching unfold, Alexandra Shishtenkowitz. Because it could easily be scripted that I was the one attacking her. Call the police. Zaran is standing between his wife and the woman and is seen repeatedly holding her arms and pushing her back. Here's what he calls a turning point. And once I saw that she was going to throw hot coffee at my wife, um, I had to stop it. So I grabbed a cup of coffee and she was like still trying to force it up. So in the video, you see me spilling it. So if she just throw it, it's not going to hurt us. He's struck in the face. As I'm spilling it out, she like goes for a punch and like kind of hits me in the side of my face. Si je reste là, faire la pomme verte, on sait pour que ça passe l'algorithme TikTok. With his wife. Kind of whispered to us or said quietly, um, F Palestine. Um, and at first I didn't know what she said due to her accent. So I like smiled at her and I thought she was saying something nice to us. So I said, Oh, what was that? And then she was like far away. Et vous pouvez nous rejoindre sur un autre réseau. Came closer to my face and then kept repeating it. Sitting in his living room today, holding up the sweatshirt, he says started all of this. Uh, I'm really proud Le of this country, and I love my country, America, and I love Palestine. The woman in the video, 64-year-old Alexandra Shishtenkowitz, left the scene before police arrived. She's facing two felony counts of hate crime and one count of misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Besides the cell phone video you've seen, Downers Grove police also reviewed video from Panera's cameras. The DuPage County State's Attorney, Robert Berlin, telling us in a statement, this type of behavior and the accompanying prejudice have no place in a civilized society, and my office stands ready to file the appropriate charges in such cases. Wasim Zaran says the love and support they've received so far far outweighs the hate, speaking out because he hopes there's a bigger message here for those seeing and hearing their story. Just be human, have a heart. Just because people aren't your color or your country or your religion even, doesn't mean you can't feel for them. The Downers Grove chief of police didn't want to sit down with us, but did share a statement and said this kind of behavior is not and will not ever be tolerated here. Shishtenkowitz is due back in court on December 16th. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and bring you the very latest. For now, reporting live in Downers Grove, outside that Panera, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago. Thank you, Tara. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE Chicago, also released a statement today. It said in part, quote, this shameful and abusive behavior has to be understood and called out for what it is. N'hésitez pas à vous abonner pour trouver ici des informations que vous avez nulle part ailleurs. A bon entendeur.